Okay guys, we've had a lot of confusion um, with this Edgenuity program, so I thought I would get on here and do a quick video tutorial to kind of show you all what's expected and where to find certain things. I have two computers. This student has not completed any of the work for this week, and then this student has completed all of the required work for this week, so I'm gonna kind of show you the difference. So first of all, you're gonna be needing to look into these three boxes. This is where you're gonna find your reading lessons, math lessons, and then within this Odyssey box, you will find your science and social studies. So I'm gonna show you what it should look like. Of course, you can always hit your home button to find these three boxes. So to find your reading, you're gonna click on reading to make sure you have the right thing. This is third grade and it even has August 31st. So we know that this week started on the 31st. There's no snowflake yet. So I'm gonna hit, on, hit the box again and it's gonna load all of the lessons that are required for this week, okay? So I have the snowflake. Once we complete this lesson, that snowflake's gonna turn into a check mark and the snowflake's gonna, this one, then gonna jump into this box. It's gonna keep going. The only one that won't turn into a snowflake is when you hit the quiz, and this is two arrows. That means that you still can take the quiz. So for this week, third grade reading, August 31st through September 4th, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes have to be done. We are going to base your grade for the week off of these quiz grades. Um, and that's gonna be your reading score for this week, okay? So, let me show you the difference though. This is a student that hasn't completed even one assignment. Um, so that snowflake is on the first box, okay? So after all of these have turned to snowflakes, then they will turn to check marks and that means you're done. And in fact, they're actually going to go away. They're gonna disappear, okay? The only problem is, more boxes pop up. Let me show you. This student, I'm gonna click on reading. It doesn't have third grade here. This is just all of the available lessons in all, okay? Since it doesn't say third grade, since we don't see a snowflake, that means that student is done, completed. There's nothing assigned to this student. They've already submitted all the required work. It's confusing though, because instead of all those boxes disappearing, a bunch more show up. That is not required work. Okay, so this is a student that's finished. This is a student and you're gonna snow, sh oh, excuse me, follow the snowflakes until you get finished, okay? So I'm gonna hit the home button on both computers. Get on back to home. I'm gonna show you what the math does. I pull up the math. Okay, this is video two and now I'm gonna explain the math. It's very similar to the reading. You're gonna click on the math box. Again, it says third grade math week one. You're gonna click on the math box again because I know that's my third grade lessons for this week. It even has when they're due. This is actually Friday and you have until Sunday, but this is for this week. So then I see a snowflake. So I'm gonna hit the box with the snowflake. It's gonna open up and I have five things to complete under that box. The snowflake will turn into a check mark and then it will jump from box to box and you will take the quizzes and that will be your math grade, okay? Um, and then the snowflake will then jump from this box to this box and you will click on it. It's not gonna let me right now because I have to complete this one before I can this one. It's not gonna let me click on it, but it will look the same. It will open up to your lessons and your quizzes that you will have to complete for that week. And again, once both of these boxes get completed, they're gonna disappear, okay? But the problem is this is gonna disappear. But let me show you what appears. So I'm gonna hit this student has already completed all the work for the week. So I'm gonna hit this box and all of them pop up. But if you'll notice, no snowflake, no snowflake, nothing is assigned. These are just all the options and they will actually let you do them, but they are not required and you do not have to do these. So once this box di disappears, you're done, even though all of these boxes pop open, okay? No snowflake, not required. And that's the math. Okay, this is video number three. And now I'm going to explain the science and social studies. It is a little different and a little confusing. Odyssey is the box that houses the science and social studies. So I'm gonna click on Odyssey. Now, this is the confusing part. Odyssey has one, two, three, four, five boxes pop up. Well, we do not need these first three boxes. These are not gonna be used. We do not need them. The only ones you're interested in are these two end ones, the green science and the orange social studies. You will click on the science, and again, it says third grade science, and if I clicked on it, it would um, tell me the week. Week one, this is week one, life cycles. So now I see a snowflake, okay? I'm gonna complete this lesson on butterflies, this lesson on frogs, 
Now, the snowflake will not appear here, but it has the arrows, meaning that that quiz is opened, and that is the quiz that you're gonna take after you complete these two lessons. And whatever you make on this quiz will be your science grade for this week, okay? So when these three boxes disappear, your required science work is finished, but let me show you what it'll look like. I'm gonna click the Odyssey. Again, I don't need these three boxes at all. I'm just gonna click on the science. Now this person has completed all the required work. There are no snowflakes. All of the boxes pop up, no snowflakes, no required work, okay? So those are the three that you have to do for the day or for the week, I'm sorry. After you're finished, it's gonna pop up a bunch more boxes, but there's no snowflakes, so no required work. And it's exactly the same with the social studies. So I'm gonna click back to my Odyssey. And now I'm gonna click on my social studies box. And again, it brings up third grade social studies. I'm gonna click on it. And that folder is my social studies work. I see a snowflake, that means that's a green light. That's the one I need to do. It even has the date and when it's due. So I'm gonna click open this box. And there's one, two, three activities and one quiz to complete. Again, my snowflake is gonna turn into a, a check mark once I'm finished and it's gonna jump to this box. So I'm gonna follow the snowflake and then do the quiz and that quiz grade will be the social studies um, grade for the week, okay? But this student has not started yet, which is fine, but the snowflake will jump as they, as they complete their assignment. So let me show you the point of view from a student that is completed. So I'm hitting the social studies box and look, oh my goodness, lots of boxes pop, pop up. But if you'll notice, there's no snowflakes. I can click on any of this, no snowflakes happen. No snowflakes means all the required work is done. When these boxes disappear, this is your required work, then this is what your computer is gonna look like and it's gonna look overwhelming and look like you have a lot more work to do, but there's no snowflakes, so that is not assigned work. Okay, so I hope this helps clarify a little bit. I've gotten this question from a lot of people. Actually, the whole entire district has gotten this question. Again, we do not need these three boxes. I wish they weren't even there. All we need under the Odyssey tab is the science and social studies, okay? Please call me. I'm available from eight until 3.30 here at school. Good luck, bye-bye.